It is the 14th of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Study finds Minnesota groundwater full of chem chemicals. Surprise, surprise. From pharmaceuticals to farm chemicals, that kind of thing. Uh, they're saying the biggest concentration are wells near landfills, of course, and secondary up by neighborhoods with septic tank systems. Uh, these chemicals are leaching into the groundwater in your areas. And they're asking for more money for more studies, of course. Video reveals shocking footage of sea lions strangled by debris. And again, this is all that debris coming in. And uh, we're just getting started. Uh, take a look. A Venice Canal frozen over. And again, the winter has been an odd one so far in Italy. Earlier in February, Rome saw a surprisingly heavily snowfall. Later in the month, Venice famous canals froze as seen in the above picture. Until this past week, much of North America, except for Alaska, has enjoyed a mild winter, and we can all contest to that. Uh, the return of La Nina, a naturally occurring climate phenomenon featuring cooler than average Pacific Ocean temperatures that influences global weather and patterns, has pushed the jet stream north, which is partly to blame for Alaska's snowy winter, but in the European region, the effects of La Nina are relatively weak and variable, according to the Met Office. And no news about the shutdown of uh, the currents in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, uh, which lead to these situations happening uh, in Northern Europe and Europe. Emergency flood flown into stranded European towns. And again, they're having to use military and, and whatever means necessary uh, to save people that are snowed in with over uh, 15 feet of snow or 4 meters just to get out of their houses. Uh, authorities declared a state of emergency on Monday in eastern Romania where 6,000 people have been cut off for days. About a dozen major roads were closed, 300 trains canceled, and more than a thousand schools were shut down. And uh, we all know the story. Snow piled 10 meters high along a Japanese road. And they have a video of that and pictures of course some just extreme, you know, 30 feet high. Uh, we've dodged much much of the winter's wrath in Canada with higher than normal temperatures and smaller amounts of snow this year. The same can't be said for other parts of the world. And uh, they're saying uh, this big cold snap that's been ongoing in Japan and dropping these massive amounts of snow. Well, snow accumulates radiation rather effectively. Um, so I can only uh, imagine uh, when this runoff happens uh, the additional um, radiation of the Pacific Ocean. Costa Rica earthquake magnitude 5.8 south of San Jose and um, the 5.6 earthquake that it was in Northern California um, they are expecting aftershocks uh, up to 5.0 and they're saying this might be the big one or as far as uh, the 5.6 was the big quake and expect aftershocks they're not expecting another bigger quake but definitely things to keep pay attention to Fukushima's North Pacific radioactive seawater plume approaches Alaska and we all been seeing this one coming rare spectacle water, uh, whales and dolphins play in Hawaiian waters and that's a really cool video uh, with the dolphins and the whales, and they got to be playing. I, I couldn't call it any other thing. New Zealand Christchurch wetland bird toll hits 800, and they're saying due to the, all the earthquakes and uh, the groundwater has been tainted, and um, the earthquakes in Christchurch have caused a lot of changes to water quality, but also to the influent levels at the oxidation ponds, and that's where they're finding these dead birds. Over to the extinction protocol, of course they've got the uh, California earthquake 5.6 magnitude uh, and this is where they kind of go into detail about they're not expecting anything big officially. War drums. Double tremors strike near Bulgarian capital. Two mild earthquakes were felt in the first hour on Friday morning in the area of the towns. Um, in Bulgaria, a 3-1 and a 3-5.
Alert status on Indonesia's Galonggong Volcano. The alert status of the volcano in West Java was raised today due to an increase of its water temperature and change in color. And they have m uh, many, many volcanoes in Indonesia on this active list. I believe it was, what, 66? I'll attach a link to all the active volcanoes again up. And uh, you could take a look at exactly which volcanoes are going on, which ones are active, that kind of thing. Uh, they've got the Costa Rica earthquake. Death toll from European cold snap exceeds 600. And a uh, 4.1 magnitude earthquake rattles Switzerland. And of course the economy and riots in Greece and that kind of thing. Over to the watchers. Tropical cyclone Giovanna makes landfall in Madagascar as a Category 4 storm. Um, the Category 4 tropical storm is expected to make landfall within hours close to the Madagascan Sea uh, coast town. And uh, some very extreme weather heading their way, obviously. Return of old sunspot 1402. After two week long transit around the far side of the sun, sunspot 1402 has returned into view in the northeast quadrant. Sunspot 1402 is now renumbered as sunspot 1419. This region is smaller than it was before after two weeks of decay. On January 27th, it unleashed an X2 class solar flare, the strongest solar flare in cycle 24. And uh, it's now coming back around our direction, but they're saying it's smaller than it was. USA censorship on the rise as YouTube censors video critical of government. Fox News polls judge Napoliano's Freedom Watch. And uh, here we go. And I hear they've got another uh, internet uh, bill online. I believe it's C11 or something like that. And... Tropical Cyclone Jasmine heading towards Tonga. Over to the Ice Age now. Uh, tragedy unfolding in Europe is U.S. media trying to ignore it. And uh, that's the lack of reporting on the extreme weather in Europe right now. Stadium roof collapses in Sarajevo under record snowfall. Uh, it's the second stadium roof to collapse in Sarajevo in as many days. People cutting through tunnels 15 feet of snow just to get out of their houses. And of course the Romanian military has to rec rescue entire towns from deep freeze. Heavy snowfall in Tunisia, Africa. Uh, roads, in, roads blocked by 31 inches or 80 centimeters of snow. Uh, the Star Wars movies... Uh, towns were covered in snow, and that's the movies that they filmed, uh, the desert scenes in Tantooine and uh, the other one, and they're saying um, they haven't seen snowfall since like 1962 in these areas. Um, so very rare thing, big cold weather. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE, I'm going to go ahead and just do the nuclear stuff. Uh, high levels of radioactive cesium has been detected in noodles produced in Okinawa. Apparently because they were made with water filtered by the ashes from Fukushima produced wood. Uh, the noodles called Okinawa Soba had a level of radioactivity of 258 becquerels of cesium per kilogram. Uh, the restaurant that produced them had kneaded them with water filtered by the ashes of the Fukushima uh, prefecture produced wood. So, uh, ongoing. And over to the E&E &E News. 195 million becquerels per liter of cesium detected in unit number 3 turbine building. Basement is filled 10 feet deep with this highly radioactive water. And they are not testing for uh, stron strontium. Breaking hospitals, doctor says patients suffering high-level radiation exposure from Fukushima. Complains media are not reporting his findings. And of course they're not. Fukushima City's hospitals say they can't wait any longer for the government to help them. 
still only a small number of citizens have been checked for internal exposure. Uh, Reuters interview, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I've lost 8 kilograms, and when I went to the doctor, I threw up everything I took. And there's just people suffering from radiation sickness. Uh, right after TEPCO's test, temperatures rose sharply and went over scale. Reporters started asking questions, and this is reactor number two. Uh, reporter asked Tesco's test caused drive device to break. Nuclear experts doubt foregone conclusion of instrument failure at reactor number two, and that's what they're claiming, that a, it's a bad gauge. Uh, cable inside the thermometer is probably cut at reactor number two, they're saying. Containment concerns growing, high radiation levels 270 plus kilometers from meltdowns. Uh, Gunderman, Gunderson, half, over half of Japanese living in contaminated areas, including places 400 kilometers away from Fukushima. Uh, this radiation is far and wide and spreading across the Pacific Ocean. And a uh, nuclear expert on reactor number two footage, sort of like a scene out of Alien. Everything is kind of dripping and oozing. Um, TEPCO today, there's little sign of steam. Former Japan nuclear official appalled by his new findings, the iodine-133 likely a major contributor to thyroid dose after Fukushima. Much bigger health concern than the iodine-131. And off the scale, reactor number two temperature exceeded 400 degrees Celsius. TEPCO says device has been broken. A reporter asks about re-criticality. And uh, Arnie Gunderson, they are creating 100 to 1,000 times more radioactive material by burning the debris than keeping it in con concentrated form. And you got to remember they're burning this radioactive debris in open furnaces. Um, and dumping the ashes into the rivers at night. And, uh, of course, there's more stories uh, coming up. That is all I have for you tonight. Um, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your videos below. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Enjoy while you can. Share a little love today.